Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jacob Wilson, and today I'm gonna to discuss three ways you can increase testosterone almost immediately. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button because we got a lot of cool information for you. So let's talk about testosterone. Testosterone is the ultimate hormone, right? Testosterone, we know increases muscle mass. We know it decreases fat mass. We know it makes you sharper. We know it makes you stronger. We know that when people are younger, you have more of it. We know it increases sex drive. We know that it helps with you feeling vibrant, alive. There's so much information around testosterone. It's a very important hormone. And by the way, that's whether you're a male or a female, testosterone is important. It's just all relative. So three ways. Number one way I'm gonna talk about is your diet, and particularly fats in your diet. We know with bodybuilding and weightlifting, oftentimes people select very low fat diets, but I gotta tell you, studies show that low fat diets make your testosterone plummet, it goes really down, really, really low. Higher fat diets increase testosterone levels. So what if you're like, well, I eat a lot of carbs, then I recommend doing a carbohydrate cycling diet and have lower carb days, and on those low carb days, have higher fat in your diet. Both saturated fats and monounsaturated fats, like what's found in avocado, for example, raise testosterone levels. Do not let fat fall below 20% of your diet, and really probably don't let it fall below 30% in your diet. You do that, you're gonna have optimized testosterone levels. If your testosterone is super low, try a ketogenic diet to jack it up and jack start it. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is periodizing your training. What studies out of Finland, out of a guy named Hakkinen's lab have shown, is that with weightlifters, every time they could drastically change their entire training regimen, testosterone would increase. That's called periodization. So what basically every month minimum completely change your workouts up. Whether that's changing the exercise selection, changing the repetitions that you're using, changing the rest periods, make sure your workouts every month don't look similar to the workouts that were previous to it. If every time you go to the weight room, you're doing bench press, military press, you won't keep raising testosterone levels. And speaking of exercise, that leads me to the third things. Calm, pound movements. I talked about chronic testosterone, there's an acute testosterone response that you get to training, and that seems to be driven by the training stimulus itself, and here's the ultimate combination for the acute training. Number one is compound movements, meaning squats, deadlifts, bench press. The more muscle you use on an exercise, the greater the testosterone levels. When you couple that with moderate repetitions, meaning eight to 12 repetitions, that seems to activate the lactic acid system and lactic acid seems to increase testosterone. So compound movements combined with eight to 12 repetitions maximize the testosterone response and the cherry on top that ignites the fire is rest period lengths. Make sure in that workout you're resting only around 60 seconds, no more than two minutes. Those three, Kramer has found that combination maximize the testosterone response to training. Now, why is that important? Studies show the acute testosterone response out of Rossad's lab can actually enhance training adaptations, okay? And that means that if I'm training and I'm doing arm day, am I getting a high testosterone response? No, I'm not. So try throwing in some arms after a leg day. Rossad's lab showed that you will get bigger gains in your arms, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Apply those three things and you will acutely and chronically maximize testosterone levels. Talk to you next time.